here she is, looking beautiful. Well presented as always, Dyson. It doesn't feel at all like it's the olden days of like sizzling wet hair. There's no sizzling. I wasn't convinced this was gonna work, but oh God, I can't stop touching my hair. <laughs> Welcome back to Beauty Lab, where we test the latest hair care, skin care, and makeup. Subscribe for more videos like this. Okay, so we are back and we have a Dyson hair tool. This is the Dyson Air Straight. Now, it's always a big day on Beauty Lab when we are testing out a new Dyson product because we've had some pretty successful reviews in the past. Um, so I do have quite high hopes, I have to say. This is the first launch from the brand since I think the Corel Hair Straight is in 2020. So the hype is definitely real with this one. These are supposed to give you straight, fluffy 90s hair, but without any damage because it goes to a massively low 80 degrees, which is seriously low, um, to help avoid any damage. And it doesn't have any plates. So it's kind of like a hair dryer, hair straightener hybrid. The idea is that it straightens the hair with like a blade of hot air. Um, so I'm pretty interested in how this is gonna go. Right, ooh, okay, here she is. Looking beautiful, well presented as always, Dyson. Oh my God, look at the size of that plug. <laughs> what is that? Kind of looks like hair straighteners but in theory, we're not gonna get the damage today. We have hot, cool, wet and dry on. And that's how you lock the plate. And there's this little screen here, so we're gonna turn this on. Oh, that's fancy, isn't it? Oh, it's quite loud, actually. Okay, so that was a little test, I think. Now, it has an LCD screen here, so you can see. So the current setting is for wet hair. And then if you press this button here, it switches over to dry hair. So you can use it on wet or dry hair, which is great. Um, and then you can either change the temperature using this button here, or you can cool it down or you can change the speed of the airflow from high to low. So I put it on the wet setting and it says it's 285 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm really impressed with that so far. My hair was blown out yesterday and we're gonna get a section thoroughly, thoroughly wet as if I had just washed it because I have like 3B, 3C curly hair. Woo, there it is. It doesn't feel at all like it's the olden days of like sizzling wet hair. There's no sizzling. I mean, that was pretty impressive for one stroke. Not bad. So this is some dry, already pretty straight hair and I'm gonna see how the dry mode works. Okay, so this is dry mode. Okay, so I'm all finished and I actually have quite a lot of thoughts about the Dyson Air Straight. Firstly, um, it's £449.99. So this is a serious investment. I mean, it's nearly £500. Um, is it worth it? I mean, I think that really depends on your hair type and the finish and the way you like to style your hair. Um, for someone like me, I have like relatively straight hair already, but I get a lot of fluff, a lot of frizziness, a bit of waviness. Um, and I do like to run the straighteners over my hair before I leave for work because I think that it just gives a lovely smooth finish and helps kind of smooth all that down. Uh, this would obviously save that step, which is great. Um, 
I don't know if that alone will be worth it, but what I think makes this worth it is the fact that there's less heat damage. Now, I obviously have highlights and I've also got some postpartum hair regrowth coming through. So anything at all that can help with heat damage and keep my hair healthier longer, I'm all for. Like, I am willing to make that investment because I think in the long term, it's better for your hair. So that is my whole head of hair and I have a lot of it. I desperately need a haircut and it is completely dry in about 10 minutes. Um, I've never dried my hair so quickly. I might start washing it in the morning now if I kept this tool. Um, I'm really impressed by the shine. My hair feels so soft. Even I color my hair and even my color I feel looks a bit more like vibrant. It's not like dead straight. It's quite fluffy, but it's giving like share from Clueless and I'm quite happy with that. Um, yeah, I'm so impressed and because I have quite wavy hair naturally, I wasn't convinced this was going to work, but oh my god, I can't stop touching my hair. <laughs> because it's so long, I think I fit a lot of my hair in it, which made it really, really speedy. Um, so if you've got long hair, great. If you've got shorter hair, I found that when I was going at the back, because of the angle, because this has got to be facing, this tree here, this has got to be facing downwards. I did find that at the, the back, it was kind of hard to get into the crown of the head, but I'm really bad with styling my own hair anyway. So I'm sure anyone that had a go would probably have more skills than I did. But also it's not massively hot, even like I've just used this and normally that would be boiling hot. So it just shows that it isn't using as much heat as we thought. So final thoughts, I'm super impressed by what it can do from wet. I think the fact that for me, if I was straightening my hair like all the time regularly, this would wipe out needing to blow dry it and then straighten it. Um, I wasn't as amazed as what it did on what it did from the dry hair, but obviously it's designed to go from wet. And the fact that it can go from dry just means that you don't need another tool. So if you need to touch up or you want to straighten from dry, like you've got it in it. Um, I worry about the root. I think if you had a particularly curly or textured root, I'm not sure this could quite really get uh, all up in there. And I think that for textured hair, it probably would only get it to like a partial straight. But I mean, I think you can tell from how I'm flirting myself in the camera that I'm pretty happy with the result. It was pretty quick. It is a hefty price tag. Um, but if you have the money to spend and if you are straightening your hair a lot and you don't want to cause as much damage. It's like a very clever tool. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos like this.